If you are dealing with lots of items, you must be maintaining inventory. And to track inventory, inventory tracker is the best tool. In today's video, we will see how we can create inventory tracker in Excel. Hi, my name is Vijay and you are watching Office Monk. Let's start the video without any delays. This is an inventory management tracker which I have created in Excel. Before creating the new format, let's see how it works. On the extreme left hand side, we have got our items along with HSN code. Just after that, we have got our UOM means unit of measurement, purchase price, selling price. And after that, percent markup means at what percent we are selling our items. Just after that, opening stock along with amount, stock purchased, closing stock. Ideal quantity sold along with amount. The parts which are highlighted in grey are fully formulated. When we come to right hand side, over here we get to see actual quantity sold, variance or variance and profit and loss. Let's start creating a new format now. I have opened a new workbook. We'll take column A closer. We'll click on B3. We'll select B4 also and we'll merge the cells. We'll put some color over here and we'll change the font color. We'll drag this till E and we'll create borders. This will be serial number, items, HSN code, UOM means unit of measurement. We'll select the whole sheet and we'll change the font style. We'll keep as Times New Roman. We'll click just under serial number, 1, 2, we'll select both and we'll drag it down. We'll drag this till 20. We'll create borders. Items. We'll increase the column size. We'll take my items and HSN code from my example file. We'll copy items and HSN code from top to bottom. Control C or Command C. We'll go to my blank format. And we'll paste over here. Control V or Command V. UOM means unit of measurement. We'll select from top to bottom. We'll go to data tab in the center we get the option of data validation we'll click on data validation from the drop down i'll select list source numbers comma pieces comma boxes comma cartons whatever unit of measurement you have you can put over here after doing the entry we will click on ok we'll go to home and we'll create borders and my drop down list got created. As of now, I'll take pieces for all the items. We'll click on unit of measurement and we'll drag this till H. We'll delete unit of measurement from here. We'll change the cell color. This will be purchase price. We'll select the whole sheet. We'll go to home tab. In the center, we get the option of wrap text. We'll click on wrap text. Just after price, I'll put at rate. We'll drag this. This will be selling price. Percent markup. I'll take purchase price and selling price from my example file. So I have taken purchase price and selling price from my example file. We'll create borders. We'll leave it selected. We'll press Ctrl 1. A window will pop up of format cells. We'll go to currency. Decimal places I'll do as 0. I'll select my desired currency from here and we'll do OK. So my currency got inserted. Percent markup. I'll click on top. We'll go to Home tab. In the center, we can see percent. We'll click on percent. Now I'll insert my formula and the formula will be plus or equal to bracket open selling price minus purchase price bracket close divided by purchase price and I'll hit enter. We got 100%. We'll align this in center. If I change the price, we'll do as 350. Our percent markup got changed to 75%. We'll undo this. We'll drag this down. We'll create borders. We'll click on I3 and we'll select J3 also. And we'll merge this together. This will be opening stock. This will be quantity. And this will be amount. We'll select row 3 and 4. And we'll align all the things in center. We'll put some color over here. We'll create borders. In opening stock, I'll take some random figures. Plus or equal to rand between. 
bottom bottom figure i'll take as 100 comma top figure i'll take as 200 we'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter we'll align this in left we'll drag this down we'll create borders we'll copy all the figures control c or command c and we'll paste here as values paste special values in this way the function of rand between got removed amount the formula will be plus or equal to opening stock quantity into purchase price and i'll hit enter we'll align this in left we'll drag this down we'll create borders we'll copy the heading of opening stock quantity and amount Control c or command c and we'll paste over here Control v or command v we'll change the color we'll change the font color opening stock from here i'll delete opening stock and we'll do as stock purchased in stock purchased i'll take some random figures formula for stock purchased amount will be plus or equal to quantity into purchase price and i'll hit enter we'll drag this down we'll create borders we'll come to right hand side we'll copy opening stock quantity and amount control c or command c and we'll paste over here control v or command v this will be closing stock we'll change the color we'll change the font color in closing stock i'll take some random figures closing stock amount the formula will be plus or equal to quantity into purchase price and we'll hit enter we'll drag this down we'll create borders we'll highlight this in light gray color because this is formulated we'll click on stock purchased we'll press shift control down arrow key we'll highlight this also we'll highlight amount of opening stock we'll click on first amount we'll press shift control down arrow key and we'll highlight this we'll highlight percent markup also we'll click just after closing stock we'll come to right hand side we'll copy the heading of closing stock quantity and amount control c or command c and we'll paste over here control v or command v this will be ideal quantity sold we'll change the color the formula for ideal quantity sold will be plus or equal to opening stock plus stock purchased minus closing stock and we will hit enter we'll align this in left we'll drag this down we'll create borders we'll highlight this because this is formulated ideal quantity sold amount the formula will be plus or equal to ideal quantity sold into we'll go to left and we'll click on purchase price and we'll hit enter we'll drag this down we'll create borders we'll come to right hand side we'll click on q3 and we'll select till s we'll merge this together this will be actual quantity sold in bracket we will take two customers bracket close enter we'll select the heading and we'll select next row also and we'll create borders we'll put some color over here this will be quantity discount and this will be amount we'll select from top to bottom and we'll create borders in actual quantity sold i'll take some random figures discount i'll select from top to bottom we'll go to data tab in the center we get the option of data validation we'll click on data validation from here i'll select least source 0 percent comma 5 percent comma 10 percent comma 15 percent comma 20 percent comma 25 percent comma 30 percent whatever discount you provide just put the percentage over here after putting the percentage click on ok and the drop down got created amount formula will be plus or equal to actual quantity sold into will come to left and will click on selling price will come to right will take this in bracket minus bracket open will click on actual quantity into will come to left and will click on selling price once again bracket close will come to right hand side into discount percent and will hit enter and we got the amount after discount
In case we will change the discount percent, we will do as 0%, the amount got increased. If it will be 10%, the amount got reduced. We will come to right hand side. We will highlight this in grey because this is formulated. We will go to home and we will highlight this. We will drag down the formula. We will copy ideal quantity sold, quantity and amount, control C or command C and we will paste over here, control V or command V. This will be variance or variance. We will change the color. Quantity, the formula will be plus or equal to actual quantity sold minus ideal quantity sold and we will hit enter. We will take this in center and there is a gap of 227. Only reason we got the figure in negative. If I will increase the figure in actual quantity sold, we will do as 330. We got the variance as minus 2. We will drag this down. We will create borders and we will change the cell color. In all the places I am getting variance. So I will do one thing. I will copy ideal quantity sold from here. Control C or Command C and we will paste in actual quantity sold. Paste special values. In some places I will change the figures. Variance amount. The formula will be plus or equal to variance quantity into we will come to left hand side and we will click on purchase price and we will hit enter. We will come to right hand side. We will align this in center. We will drag this down. We will create borders. We will come to right hand side. We will click on top figure of variance. We will press shift control down arrow key. We will press control 1. And from here we will select this format in which negative values are showing in red and we will do OK. In quantity also we will do the same thing. We will click on top figure, we will press shift control down arrow key. We will press control 1, we will go to number and we will select a format where we can see negative figures in red and we will do OK. We will do decimal places as 0. OK. Amount will be fully formulated. So we will highlight this in grey. We will increase size of column V. We will select both the cells and we will merge this together. We will change the cell color and we will change the font color. We will create borders. This will be profit slash loss. The formula will be plus or equal to actual quantity sold to customers minus ideal quantity sold to customers and we will hit enter. We'll align this in left. We'll drag this down. We'll create borders. We'll leave it selected. We'll press Ctrl 1. And we'll select format where we can see negative figures in red. And we'll do OK. If there will be variance in actual quantity sold, I'll do this 100. We can see negative figures in red over here. We'll go to view. And we'll remove the grid lines. We'll highlight this in grey. We'll go to home and we'll change the cell color. We'll go on top. We'll come to left hand side. We'll increase size of row number 2. We'll select till R. And we'll merge this together. We'll put some color over here. We'll change the font color. This will be inventory management. And profit and loss. We'll click on the heading. We'll change the font style. We'll increase the font size. We'll come to right hand side. We'll select S and T and we'll merge this together. We'll put some color over here. This will be total. We'll select all. We'll change the font color. We'll change the font style. We'll put the color. We'll change the font color. We'll increase the font size. We'll create borders. We'll select column U and V and we'll increase the size. Total. The formula for total will be plus or equal to. I am not going to use sum over here. We will use aggregate. The benefit of using aggregate. In case there will be any error in the amount, it will ignore. Means aggregate will ignore the errors. So the formula will be plus or equal to aggregate. Bracket open. Over here we get lots of options. I will take this to left. So over here we can see lots of options. We will select 9 because we want to do sum. Comma. Again we got options. 
Over here, we get to see one option as ignore error values and that is number six. So I'll click over here, comma, array or array. I'll select all the amount from top to bottom. We'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter. We'll align this in center. We'll drag this to right. So this is our variance amount and this is the amount of our profit or loss. The figures are not in negative, so we are in profit. We'll come to left, we'll click on heading of inventory management and we'll create borders. We'll increase the row size and our format is ready. I'm sure you must have loved the video. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. See you soon with a new topic. Till then. Bye-bye.